go throughout this weekend. Get ready for some heat. Uh, we'll feel the heat index up into the 100s at times this weekend and again on Monday. And on top of that, may see multiple rounds of storms, some of which could be strong to severe. So definitely looking at a muggy and stormy weekend around the corner. Uh, when it comes to the timing on all of this, starting up tomorrow evening, may see a round of storms again very early Sunday morning and again very early Monday morning. So there will be a lot of dry time over the next few days. It's just as we head into the evening to overnight hours and especially early in some of these mornings. That's when we may be running into some of these stronger storms. And the reason why we're in a ring of fire pattern. So instead of being stuck under a heat dome or an intense area of high pressure that boosts up the heat and humidity and leaves us with sweltering conditions, we're on the fringes of that. But that means uh, the storm track is right over our backyard. Showers and storms like to fire up along that edge of the heat and humidity. As a result, we could see multiple rounds of strong thunderstorms across our backyard rather than just dealing with dry conditions or very hot conditions. So you'll see that the storm outlook is basically the same shape and placement over the next couple days. Here's Saturday's one out of five risk for severe storms, not just for us, but across a lot of the Midwest. That's for a round of storms that'll fire up in Minnesota and then track into our backyard as we go into tomorrow evening could bring a slight risk for damaging winds. So here's future track. You'll see in the morning we do have quiet conditions, uh, maybe just a spotty shower or two early. We then go out throughout a lot of the day without much for storm activity until we get to late in the evening. You can see here there may be a couple hit or miss showers and storms firing up. Then here comes that potential complex of storms from Minnesota. That's coming through as you can see a little after midnight and may bring some strong to severe weather with it. Showers linger into very early Sunday. That's where we do have those low risks for severe weather hanging around for the end of the weekend and then we get a dry, hot and breezy day ahead for Sunday. After that, so we may deal with, uh, as you can see, the early morning round of storms uh, for Sunday and then Monday also could have a similar situation. We're late Sunday night into Monday morning, we get more storms to track through. So either way, just make sure you're weather aware, you're paying attention to any kind of alerts and be ready for the heat. We had average weather today. It looks like the feels like conditions in the middle 90s to 100s the next couple days. So if we aren't dealing with storms, we're definitely dealing with some heat. Late into next week, we do see much cooler weather return, though. You can see that temperatures drop back to the 70s. That'll feel a bit cool compared to the 90s and 100s that we'll have uh, coming up in the next couple days. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do hold on to that relatively cooler weather long term. So this little mini heat wave doesn't last for very long. And the four degree guarantee slowly building up that bank again as a result of just missing the bullseye today. 26 to end the week.